Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. Today we've got a video that focuses only on the latest and greatest retexture mods, especially those from authors that we know created great mods for Skyrim or previous Fallout games. Let's kick things off with a texture overhaul for Power Armors. This is a mod that aims to eventually retexture all of the Power Armors in Fallout 4. However, as of right now, only the T45 armor and all of its paint jobs is complete. The author has created entirely new higher resolution textures from scratch, using the original version of the armor as a base. Since we only have the T45 to judge so far, for the non-painted version the mod goes for a more patchy, rusting effect when compared to vanilla. The textures certainly seem more crisp, especially around the joints and other tidbits hanging off the armor. For the painted versions we really like the changes made. The mod goes for a more glossy aesthetic, while also offering more variations in the colours of the paint. This comes together to make it seem like you've layered actual paint on your armour, rather than simply recolouring the metal. All in all, if you've been avoiding those wacky recolours and are looking for something more fitting to the base game, this is definitely a mod to keep your eye on. The second mod we have is the Commonwealth HQ Landscape Overhaul. As you probably know by now, the landscapes in Fallout 4 are pretty high res, but they can still be a little bland at times. The wasteland isn't exactly an environment of diverse biomes, but the author felt certain landscape textures could do with an improvement. The mod aims to offer more depth across the board, and as of right now it comes with 15 new textures. You might not think a few textures can have that big of an effect, but because so many areas share the same landscape textures, you can completely change how an area looks with a landscape mod. Like the first mod, this is one you'll definitely want to keep an eye on, even if you don't plan to add it right now. Next up is Langley's Workshop, a name that might sound familiar if you modded Skyrim. The mod retextures various objects and areas in the game, basically anywhere Langley thought could use a little improvement. As of right now, the mod retextures only a few things. The walls and floor for truck parking at the Red Rocket Garage, which is where you find dog meat very early on in the game. As well as old tyres, which can also just be found outside of the Red Rocket as well as various other places. So the mod isn't the most in-depth mod we've seen, but it's a great base to build on. Like its Skyrim counterpart, the mod will expand into more areas and mostly focus around walls, floors and household items like tables and chairs. It's already a nice addition, but its potential for the future is the really promising thing about it. Definitely one for your tracking list on the Nexus. Our fourth mod for today is Better Destroyed Vehicles. You may think to yourself, how can something be better destroyed? Well take a look at this retexture and you'll see how. Destroyed cars are now more rusted and worn out when compared to vanilla. Fallout 4 takes place centuries after the bombs hit, and we think cars would look pretty sorry for themselves after that huge amount of time has passed. Now with this mod installed, they finally live up to those expectations. There are over 100 different retextures included with the mod, and they're all at the same resolution as the vanilla ones, so there won't be any impact on performance at all. You'll come across plenty of these cars on your travels, so it's definitely something you'll notice when it's installed, a great example of an immersive retexture. And our final mod for this video is Wet Water Enhancement Textures. As you've probably already guessed by now, this mod changes the way water looks and behaves in game. As we saw in Skyrim, these water mods are a must have for most players, and this is the best one we've seen for Fallout so far. With the mod installed, the water moves slightly differently, creating more ripples as each of the waves crash into each other. Along with that, the water just looks better in general in our opinion, and there's also a load of new foam textures added too, for some extra variety in how the water looks. Water is something you'll see everywhere, so having it look exactly how you want it to is quite important, so we can definitely see this becoming a must-have mod for some of you. If you're looking for some more texture mods, or just Fallout 4 mods in general, then you can check out our Fallout 4 modding playlist here. And that's the end of today's retexture spotlight. If you're interested in any of today's mods, you can find everything you need down below. And as always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy. And just before we wrap up today's spotlight, we'd like to thank Wii Mesh for sponsoring this episode. Wii Mesh is a video watching app that lets you share and watch videos with friends in perfect sync. It's great for watching movie trailers, let's plays, or even our own videos with friends from anywhere in the world at the exact same time. You can even talk or chat via text while watching too. And to get it today, you can find a link in the description below. And thanks for watching.